How you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel in another video. In this video, we're going to be doing another chameleon cell pour. I really liked the way this ended up the last couple times that I've done it, and apparently a whole bunch of other people enjoyed it as well. We're going to start with layer layering our colors. We have um, Artist Loft Crimson, Artist Loft Thalo Blue, and Artist Loft Old Gold. So we're going to layer them all in, this, in the cup the same way we did in the previous videos and do a flip cup on a dry canvas. Um, in these colors, there is no silicone. There's no silicone. There is no uh, dimethicone. There's no coconut oil hair serum because we don't want to generate cells on the pour. We want the cells to kind of come out when we make them with the oil afterwards. All right, so as you noticed, I did not pour them from a, a great height so that the colors didn't force themselves through each other. I'm not trying to create a muddy color. I'm trying to not allow the colors to mix too much. I just layered them so that way when I flip the cup, all those colors are interspersed within each other. And then when I put on the coconut oil hair serum later on, uh, you get a nice uh, array of brilliant cells that are multicolored and will look beautiful. As you know, I enjoy the metallics and that's why I'm using the metallics right now. The metallics add that little machine to all the colors, which I really enjoy. So right now I'm just allowing the colors to flow down the sides of the cup. You can probably see them flowing down on that side. All right, so the colors have had plenty of time now to flow down the side of the cup. We're ready to start the flip and then start making our cells after we spread the paint on the canvas. Now, like I said before, there was no silicone in the cup. So any cells, like you're seeing that cell right there, over here, those were air bubbles that had popped to create those cells. Okay, now we're gonna spread it across the canvas. I'm bring it out to the edge. I don't want to quite pour off any yet, so I'm just going to stretch the paint across the canvas, bring it back to the center, and over to this corner. So I have to spill off there, which is over there. Something in my paint in that top left corner. I'm gonna have to fish out for making these cells. I'm gonna do that now. Right. So now we're gonna allow it to kind of flow over the corners. I really love this process. The chameleon cells, are, they just, they're, to me, they're beautiful because I have complete control over where they go. So, we have a really cool little design for me in the paint. And that's basically from where the cup was uh, dripping from the top. Since the cup wasn't completely flat on the bottom of it, it uh, was dripping down as it was flowing. So now we got that really interesting pattern or design in the paint right there. Figured I would do something different, kind of take a break from that Sheely technique that I've been doing because it's quite addicting. I understand some of you guys were having some issues with it, um, I do have a Facebook group and a Facebook page. It's all in the links in the description. And if you're 
having any questions or troubles with that technique that I showed you guys, I'm I'm very responsive on Facebook as well as the comments on this video. So if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And we'll try to come to some kind of uh, understanding together. Because I know everybody lives in different parts of the world and some of you guys can't. You don't have access to the same things that I would living in America. So um, just interact with me. Give, send me you know, a message. Ask me a question. And I'm more than happy to try to work with you and help you find a solution because once you do get the technique down, it's so much fun. It's so much fun. So, as in all my other pores, I'm using this coconut oil hair serum. The the main thing about this is it just has dimethicone in it, which is a it's pretty much the same thing as silicone. Uh, creates cells. So what I'm doing now is I'm just looking at the way those drips created like maybe a mini ring pour almost. And I'm probably going to work my composition around that. I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera, but even the blues and the reds underneath, they have that metallic sheen from the gold in it. It's just gorgeous. So I'm going to speed through this process and you guys can watch the cells grow as they do.